What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I am Haseo Loibnida. And I'm Curtis. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. We back with the beautiful Chungha bicycle. It's been a while since she's been on the uh, the channel. I missed her. Oh, in a dream, man. <laughs> That's my shit, Luke. Um, but yeah, we can jump right into this and have a discussion when we're done. Oh, I thought you were saying dancing. I'm like, this yeah. nigga here. That's it. Oh. This shit not doing it. Free to sit on this bicycle. <laughs> Go on that ride. <laughs> Get him away. This not only solidifies some things for me, this expanded some things. Um, <laughs> in the sense that I didn't know she could rap. Oh, this. okay. I was gonna say, nigga, scoot over. Nigga. <laughs> nah, her cadences, her rap, Joan, like she really was on some shit. Um, we talked about this before. Um, about uh, like some of our favorite solo artists, and uh, she's actually one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, I already know vocally what she can do. She's amazing. I love her voice. She can hit every register. Like you know, what I mean, it's just so many different applications that I've heard her do with her voice. So I, I already pretty much pretty much know what I'm getting out of that. The rap stuff just really solidifies some things for me. 
She has about, I'm not lying, probably like 15 other tracks that we haven't really done. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't even listened to them. So it's funny, I'm saying she's one of my favorite, and I yeah. haven't even dove into the discography because I want to react to it with y'all. Um, but I think we've already done, uh, like, you were singing Dream of You already. It's one of my favorite solo joints. And then uh, the second joint stirred up controversy, but I actually love the song, uh, Play. Uh, um and then uh like this would be our third video from fourth um the range on mm-hmm. um because she was featured on the rain track when he did his comeback yeah um so she she's she's like that like I was watching a little bit of the behind the scenes for a dream of you she's fucking drop dead gorgeous um super talented I like this a lot man this was dope I'll download this. Uh, how do y'all feel about it? Um, this is definitely dope. I don't know why I'm hesitant to download it. I feel like it'll, I don't know if it'll get like lost in the shuffle of the other songs that I have. I want something to really stand out from it. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's anything dope. feel forced or anything? Here no, or nothing felt forced. It feel like this is her. Okay. It just doesn't feel like nothing I haven't heard before. And nothing about the song in particular is making me come back to it. Not even like the chorus. Mm-hmm. Um, overall though, it's great. I like it. Um, I like the production, uh, the attention to detail with the with the video and everything like that, and how colorful it was. But it's kind of like trippy at the same time. Mm-hmm. So you get the you got it's mainly all black, dark backgrounds and everything like that. But you get, uh, let the lights kind of tell the story or convey her message and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that was a. a very appropriate use of lighting and everything like that with the uh video yeah i was more into the video than the song because the song like i said the song didn't really have a part that stuck out to me um aside from the lyrics of course but this isn't our first rodeo with how do we put it suggestive or you know some should seem a little more straightforward yeah this man. Is very <laughs> like on the nose but you know we try to yeah to be like you know, I try to give more credit than, you know, just the, the low-hanging fruit, if possible. But, um, yeah, the lyrics were kind of, like you said, very straightforward and kind of out there. But, um, yeah, man, maybe a couple more listens, I'm, it might wear on me. Yeah, because I feel you a little bit because, um, like, like what stuck out to me was mostly, like, the rapping. Mm-hmm. She definitely killed the vocals. I think... I think, especially because the song is called Bicycle, I'm, I'm not sure where your mind went. Originally, once I heard that, and then once she started talking, I went to like the Sierra Ride It. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, I think that course is so much more punchy, not to compare yeah. that track to this track. No, yeah, definitely. Um, where it's just like, the course was cool, but I don't think this is like a one that might get like completely stuck in your head. So you I, may I, I definitely the get melody the melody a couple of times, but mm-hmm. you're not gonna. Well, me personally, I may sing the melody a couple of times, but the lyrics itself are not gonna kind of always make me. I gotta damn that bicycle is crazy. Mm-hmm. No, I get it. No, I, th- I thought all this was was really impressive. Um, as you had touched on, you know, I loved everything that they did with the production and everything. Um, but her talent, you know, being able to sing and rap and everything like that. Um, was definitely something like I expected there to be, you know, amazing vocals. But I was, as you had said, um, really impressed with the the rap verses as well. She definitely got into some really creative flows and cadences within that and everything. And I thought it was perfectly serviced, you know, with the production and everything like that. So anytime an artist is able to marry, you know, their flow, their cadence, how they're attacking the track to the production, um, I always want to commend that as well. I loved everything as well with um, with the video and everything. Like I thought they they had a lot of really vibrant colors, a lot of really amazing sets, uh, as well as uh, you know the wardrobe and everything. Like you had her on basically like the queen, like royalty type time, like dressed in like the old gold and everything like that. Um, so I thought like those aspects were amazing. I also really liked how they had um, the one um, like white silhouette behind the screen because they were match cutting like. Um, her wearing like the black latex gloves and everything with like uh, like wings kind of like they're like dark uh, like like a fallen angel mm-hmm. sort of uh, aspect and everything. So they were playing on that, which I thought was really creative and um, visually engaging as well. I mean, not you know, obviously she's very beautiful and everything like that too. But um, I just thought nonetheless that was like it, it made for a really enticing video as well. Um, and then you know, as much times as the beat kind of broke down towards the the latter half of the track and everything, and we got a little bit of the the choreography and everything, which I thought was also really amazing. There was one moment where the background dancers like kind of like almost flipped her a little bit and everything like that. So I just didn't expect that kind of intricacy and everything with this. So you know, you showcase you know 
amazing choreography, your incredible ability to rap and everything like that, and then the powerful vocals with it. Like I just thought like everything was was here as far as like, you know, what um you would want in a track or at least what I would want in a track. Um but yeah, no, nah, overall this this was this was incredibly engaging for me. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up too. Like I said, I'm not trying to be de- de- uh like controversial or anything like that. Mm. She's also my favorite person when it comes to choreography. Um, cause we've seen her smoke like, uh, like different types of choreo at this point. She's done like athletic things. She's done seductive choreo. She's done hard footwork. She's done tutting. Um, just even on here is some of the in- intricacies like of the whole, um, like it looked like she was very much doing the, um, um, contemporary type stuff oh, and, yeah, and just, yeah. uh, like she, she's just looks like she's able to do so many different things as far as like as dancing goes and stuff like that. Those shots right there is perfect. Yeah. Water choreo is always going to be too, like, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, no one talks about it. down, slowing down like that kind of shutter speed or whatever and letting it like kind of almost slow motion, like, mm-hmm. like dazed effect. Yeah. Like um, Shorty's flipping over people. She did a flip in the water, John. Like she's, yeah. she's turned. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I'm pretty sure you good. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm good. Man, y'all know the vibes, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Redeemers. Let us know what other Chung Ha tracks we need to get into. Mm-hmm. Let us know who y'all want to see her face on a choreo joint. Um, I feel like she'd be a good candidate. Um, I almost wanted it to be a, like Highland. Um, Yolin. Yolin, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I had that in mind. Um, at first, I wanted it to be Dream of You versus Laying Low. Um, it's just crazy, be, um man. just because um I know how some people feel, but I, I like seeing like the general masses mm-hmm. kinda like talk no, about I don't things. know. I think that would be like a, a one and one, so Yeah, it'd be a good that'd be a good join. Um I'd be tough. Let us know how y'all feel about it, man, or, or other joins and stuff like that. Cause it's definitely we still haven't done some of the other Highland stuff neither. And I know she has Dolly and a couple other joins we haven't reacted to yet. Mm-hmm. Um but y'all know Vaz, man. Love you to death. Mm-hmm. I'll holler at y'all. Peace. Love y'all.